You know, at the kickoff of the 22nd edition of the World Cup on the 20th of November in Qatar, the Argentine national team, a.k.a. Uh, Albi Celeste, were sentimental favorites along with defending champions France and Brazil. For star player, 35-year-old Lionel Andres Messi, this edition would be his fifth World Cup appearance since 2010, and of course, it would be poetic justice for him to leave the trophy after a nervy three-all scoreline against defending champions, France. Now, for Messi, it was the sweet, sweet victory of a truth to be yourself in a world that's constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest achievement. That show was a final to recall. All right, let me announce we are joined uh, right now by sports historian and journalist, Musbao Razak. I greet you. <laughs> Good evening. Yeah, OK. Uh, you know, Musbao, you know, that was a great final, as I said. But can you recall parallels to yesterday's game in terms of the way the contest you know, went? Uh, can you recall? What the uh, the Qatar uh, World Cup was built as the Messi Messi and Ronaldo World Cup. Mm. Uh, when Ronaldo's team was defeated by uh, Morocco, Morocco, it became Messi's World Cup. It became many football enthusiasts won wanted him to win, and he did one. And uh, I think he deserved it at the age of 35, playing mm -hmm. probably his last World Cup. And with what he has uh, done for football, he really deserved uh, it. Although he is quoted as having said that uh, he was not done yet playing for the country. Well, time will tell. Mm, time will tell. Yeah. Jidi, is it possible to recall a World Cup that compares with this one? Yes, not not far away. Um, again, it involved Argentina. In nineteen eighty six World Cup final, uh, Argentina were ahead by two goals. Hmm. The first goal scored by uh, Jose Luis Brown. It was his first goal for his country, and it came in the World Cup final. Argentina were ahead by two goals. Germany replied and it became 2-2 before Maradona did this magic mm. with that pass that divided the West German defense like uh, the Red Sea was parted. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, that goal, that final goal, third goal uh, came in. So it was 3-2. And then when you're talking about a hat trick, somebody's calling an hat trick in the final of the World yeah. Cup. Job Host of uh, England, England yeah. uh, comes, to, comes to mind. Um, Mbappe had a good game. Uh, he has shown that he's won for not just the big occasion, but for the future. And he has uh, a lot of things similar to Ronaldo. The explosive space, the power in the shot, and the the desire to not lose. And age is on his side. Age is on his side. He's just 23. Mm. And he's already, if you see his numbers when it comes to the goals that he has scored, yeah. you, you know that he's going to overtake Messi and the rest of them. Because even at 23, neither Messi nor Ronaldo has scored as many goals as uh, yeah. Mbappe. Yeah. Mm. Has scored. Even some, some of them are playing their fifth World Cup, and the number of goals that he has scored has, is already close to what they yeah. what, what they did in mm -hmm. five World Cups. You know, so and he has a World Cup medal in his kitty. Yes, he's a World Cup winner already. So and uh, got to the final. He's the, he did very well yesterday. I expected France to play much better, but. They didn't, they didn't come into the game early enough. And they, those changes changed the game a little bit, but France played poorly, no mm. doubt about it. And, and, and in soccer, both ball, if you mess around, you are punished. Yeah. 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 Like uh, Gide said, 
France were not in the game up to, until the 88th minute yesterday. Yeah. Some people were even saying, ah, did France plan to, uh, to solve up this match? But at least the moment they had that penalty mm. and they scored, it gingered them into action. Changed and we now everything. See yeah. the, the, the real France, we have already known yeah. throughout this World Cup. And uh, at least the blistering space, uh, pace of Mbappe was brought into yeah. contention. And uh, we, we really watched a very good football match yesterday. One of the best World Cup match I've ever watched in my life. Yeah. I, so you agree with FIFA that it, it was the best ever? In terms of uh, football? No, they were just talking it, generally. You know, generally speaking. In, in, you in know. terms of organization. A, a, I think, aesthetics, uh, you know, and I so on. I think it was the best ever. But in terms of football, uh, I still remember the 1982 World Cup in Spain. You are, you are not old school. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I still remember the 1982 World Cup in Spain. Yeah. Won yeah. by Italy. Mm -hmm. Which featured uh, the like of uh, Brazil with Zico, Socrates, mm -hmm. Edinho, Eda. Mm -hmm. The Italy of Paulo Rossi. Uh, no, no, that was pa pa Paulo Rossi's uh, World Cup. Uh, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And the Germany team of... Uh, Prelit Baski, mm -hmm. Kales Rummenigge, uh, and, and, and this uh, horse rubbish. Mm. So you won't f forget the French team of that year too. Of that year, Platini, yeah. mm. Platini Chigana, Giamo di Chigana, That's and Batista. Mm. All of them like that. It was one for me. 1982 was World Cup was the best World Cup I've, I've ever watched. I think that in terms Brazil of skills, team, that Brazil of team is the is the best. That, mm, never that, they, that never won the World Cup. Spain 82. Yes, yes that the team, team, the, of that the, the team was, the players were very okay. good in every position. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Um, Socrates, Socrates uh, Midfield, Zico. Uh, Zico, all of them. Okay. But, but that a Paulo Rossi broke the jinx will remain uh, yes, the, a cardinal the, the point The guy who came yes. from prison. Yes. Came yeah. from prison <laughs> and became a World Cup And the Cup president winner. said, I release him on one condition. Bring home the World Cup, <laughs> and he did. He died recently. Yeah, he, yes, yeah. He died recently. Uh, quickly, uh, BKO, Let's look at uh, standard players. Who and who comes to mind here? Um, I think in defence, um, Vardyol of Croatia is deemed right. the, the defender of the World Cup, and um, among the fullbacks, in my view, Hakimi of um, Morocco. Really stood out, and then in midfield, uh, Messi and Bruno Fernandez. Bruno Fernandez played very well in this World Cup. He was the go-to man for Portugal. Um, you recall that Ronaldo was not the go-to man. Mm. It was Bruno Fernandez, and yeah, I, I think uh, those are the players that uh, come to mind for me. Occasionally, you see sparks uh, of brilliance from uh, Thuram. Whenever the French national team brings him on, and uh, Munian, you know, mm. even yesterday they played well when they came on. Ka Kama Kamavinga too. I didn't see much on Kamavinga. Mm. Okay. Really. And then those players are for the future. Yeah. Most well, you. Well, well my, most of the players that uh, played, we all know them. But I'm so impressed with this Moroccan player, Winai. Okay. That midfielder, mm -hmm. is, he was everywhere on the field, on all the matches he played for Morocco. And I'm also impressed with the, their defensive midfielder, Amrabat. Amrabat, yes. They mm -hmm. played well. And mm -hmm. uh, even their captain, Osai, then this guy for uh, France, Chouameni, mm -hmm. very good player. And uh, when he's on the field, the confidence he has on the ball yeah. the, it, 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 it's remarkable. The others, we all know them. And mm. we all know what they can do. Yeah. What we can talk about is about those who expected to play well, who did not perform. Right. The whole of the Brazilian team, we know them. They are playing. They are all playing big leagues. So we don't expect anything less from them. them. Yeah. So what we are looking at is who are the players that, that, who are supposed the to play with, of, of uh, this yeah, world and yes. so on. Yeah. Mm. Those who are supposed to play better, but play <laughs> uh, uh, most play were not. Not into Ranzo. Yeah. 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 Chidi, what about officiating? You know, would you say the last World Cup lived up to its billing? No. Expectations? No, the, there were some very questionable um, 
decisions? Calls by the referees. Yes, uh, the referees are human. They will make mistakes. And we've seen locations even when players try to deceive referees and the playback showed that the referee's decision was right. So there were mistakes. For example, uh, France's first goal against England. There was an infringement just before that goal. Mm -hmm. uh, and the referee didn't uh, do anything about it. Mm -hmm. And they went on to score a goal after that infringement. So there were mistakes. And uh, sometimes when VAR needs to step in and check, you just see that they will not check. So some of the problems of VAR that we've seen in Eng England and in other uh, countries where VAR has been applied, even in this World Cup, we saw it. So the officiating was not perfect for me. And even the first goal by Argentina, the penalty, was a very soft one, mm. very soft one. Uh, but that's what it is. Must be applic quickly, let's talk about Africa's representatives, Morocco. Uh, how would you rate their performance? Exceptional. Okay. Exceptional. Of course, uh, at least they broke the record for Afri African performance, the first African team to reach the semi final. I know Morocco has already presented a very good team at the World Cup. Don't forget that they are the first African team to qualify for the knockout stage mm. in 1986. They have broken another record, have uh, set another record in Africa now, the first African team to, uh, to qualify for the semi final. They have a very good team. The yeah. team reminded me of their 1986 uh, golden, uh, golden team, the yeah. era of Ab Aziz Buldabella, mm. uh, Mohamed Timuni, mm. uh, Badusaki. That was, exactly. their, yeah, yeah, that was mm. one of the best African teams. Mary Krimo. Mary Krimo. Uh, Mohamed Krimo. Timuni. The Krimo. Uh, mm. So those, the, then they had a good team. Now they also have a good team. And you can say they, they, they don't deserve it. They have a well-structured football mm. uh, culture. Look yeah. at how they are growing. They are, they are, they, they, they are football team, women team, is the African champion as well. Yeah. And the... The, 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 the Cup Champions League the, the Cup Champions, to them. The Confederation Cup, yeah. they are all yeah. a, a Moroccan team. So you yeah. can't say they have not developed well. Yeah. It is their football. Yeah, but the problem with African football remains marksmanship, where you can tell mm. a goal is coming from an yes, African Morocco, team. World Cup. Morocco should have beaten... France by a wide margin yes. because they had many chances in that mm -hmm. game. You know, you could say that against Portugal, Portugal thoroughly outplayed them. Yeah. But yeah. against France, Morocco did enough to not lose that match. Mm. But they lost so many uh, chances. chances. And sometimes in the, in the box six, lost so many chances. So if they had better marksmen, yeah. maybe they would have gone further in this competition. But I think in all the matches, they gave their best, except against um, Croatia. Croatia. I wasn't yeah. impressed. Maybe because the coach brought some new players, you know, uh, who had not played in the competition. But he wanted to give everybody a feel of the competition. So, yeah. against Croatia, they didn't do particularly mm. well. But they, they impressed me thoroughly. And as an African, I'm proud of them. Yes. Uh, more quickly, does Africa re, uh, deserve more more placements in of the course, next World we, Cup? We do. World Cup. Yeah, we do, because okay. we, this is, we, we, are, we, are, we are evolving. We have two teams in the knockout stage this time around. This it happened in 2014 and it's happening now. All right. It used to be only one team in the knockout stage. In 2014, we have Nigeria and Nigeria. This year, we have uh, Morocco and Senegal, and Morocco go all the way to the semi-final. So, at least to compensate Africa, they, they deserve more places. Yes. Actually, if you are expanding to 32, With 32 then yeah. Africa should get more places. More places. Mm. 32, 48? Yeah, they, are, they are saying that mm. they are going to expand the number of teams. So if they expand the number of teams, yeah.